Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena, and we have a new phone just in, the Samsung Galaxy M30s. It's a mid-ranger with a whopping 6,000 mAh battery, an AMOLED screen, and a 48 megapixel main camera. So what are we waiting for? Let's check it out. Let's get this box open. It's a bit stuck. Whoops. So now that I've destroyed the box, what have we got here? A package with paperwork. And under that, the phone itself. The sapphire blue finish looks pretty nice. You can see some hints of green mixed in. Under here, we have some packaged 3.5mm earbuds. Then there's a 15 watt charger. And the charging cable. Oh yeah, and the SIM tool. So now that we have the Galaxy M30s in our hands, let's go over its key features. First up, that gigantic battery. Battery capacity has been getting bigger and bigger these days, but there still aren't many phones that can compare to the M30s's 6000 mAh power pack. We expect nothing less than outstanding battery life. We'll run our proprietary battery tests and give you the results in our full review. Even though the battery is huge, it isn't too bulky. The M30s's form factor still looks rather sleek and premium, even though the body is actually made of plastic. Unfortunately, the large capacity doesn't come with matching fast charging. Filling up this battery with a bundled 15 watt charger may take a while. Next, a large AMOLED display. The Galaxy M30s has a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display with a 1080p resolution, and a small notch cutout for the selfie cam. The screen is flat, not curved, and looks plenty bright. It's the same display that we saw on the Galaxy A50. All in all, pretty nice for this price range. Third on the list, a solid mid-range chipset. The M30s runs on an Exynos 9611 chipset, a newer version of the Exynos 9610 inside of the Galaxy A50. Performance should be reliable, and most games should run okay, although this may not be enough to satisfy heavy gamers. And finally, a capable triple camera setup. On the Galaxy M30s, there is a 48 megapixel main cam, an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a depth sensor for portrait mode. Judging by Samsung's other recent phones, you should get some nice results from these cameras during the day, and decent photos at night too. We'll see if they hold up to our expectations in our full review. So there you have it, guys, the Galaxy M30s. It brings a lot of the trends we've seen throughout 2019, but the most unique feature is probably the giant battery pack. What do you guys think? Let us know down below, and I'll see you on the next one.